there but the moment when you repent and confess your sin then that uterus will again become consecrated if you get into the marital life and get into the procreation act without repenting of that sin without repentance of ab uh, about the, the sin of abortion then there is a problem you are procreating the child or welcoming the child into the uterus which is totally deprived of the grace of god anointing of the holy spirit it is desecrate with the power and presence of satan that power and presence of satan will afflict the child coming to the womb as i told you the egg and sperm come together and the first embryo is being formed there the first uh, part of the, the body of child or the the first baby that is the embryo and slowly it is uh, slowly it is coming to the uterus and there it there it is growing as fetus but in the the um, fallopian tube when the child is coming if the child is with, if, if the parents are without the grace or anointing this child which is formed also is totally deprived of the grace of god that child is without the grace of god parents are without the grace of god uterus also is without the grace of god and when this child is growing in the uterus every moment the child is getting the evil attack no grace of god no anointing with the baby when the child comes out into the world child is again coming into to a desecrated world where adultery is there fornication is there murder is there witchcraft is there sorcery is there that situation the family situation also is desecrated no divine grace no prayer no holiness no purity no real family spirit alcohol is there drug addiction is there into that situation when the child is coming again the child is thrown into the furnace child will be very badly affected by that my dear friends and when will we get a liberation from this situation we have to begin something we have to begin something today today onwards we have to pray 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 with so much of spiritual energy and sincerity so earnestly and fervently we have to pray that new families may come up and already existing families may get to existing families get to consec hallelujah hallelujah when the baby is being formed in the womb of the mother if the parents are without the grace it will affect the baby and slowly when the child is growing into the infancy then into puberty when the child's sexuality is getting developed there will be uncontrollable passions which has come into the child at the moment of conception the person born out of flesh is flesh and these parents lived a very unholy life for um from 14 to 21 they got married at the age of 21 this this uh, woman and her husband also was 21 they got married in the church and second thing without repenting of that sin fornication for 7 years and what do you think fornication is something approved by the state no fornication is something approved by the church no fornication is something approved by the lord jesus no then who permitted a devil only fornication is a sexual act between unmarried people adultery is a sexual act between married people uh, married people with somebody else that is adultery fornication prior to the marriage people are getting into the sexual activities and enjoyment that is fornication and when you come to the age of puberty or uh, youth you have to know that your body is the temple of god and sexuality is a gift given by god and you have to keep your body so consecrated that through the baptism through the sacrament of holy eucharist and if ever there was any mistake any, any wrong doing through the sacrament of reconciliation through the sacrament of confirmation you are getting consecrated by the holy spirit 
and your body becomes so holy that it becomes a temple of god and your soul becomes a tabernacle never never forget that your body is a temple of god and god's spirit dwells in you that's what we read in yesterday you already wrote so you need not write first corinthians 3 16 and 17 don't you know that your body is a temple of god and god's spirit dwells in you if any one destroys god's temple god will destroy him my dear friends very many people are ignorant about this fundamental truth this divine revelation that is why the societies are broken families are broken the very foundation of the families are so shaky that not even a single one can bring forth a child which has got grace or anointing there we got to repent and we got to repent and we got to repent and we got to have faith in jesus to get repaired the whole family and to get reconstructed and rebuilt by jesus every family say hallelujah three times Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Praise Second reason of the last first is the bomb to conception. If the parents are without grace. And this parents story I will explain to you once again. And they started their family life after the sacrament of marriage in different way. They used to go to church and pray, but they received the sacrament of marriage without any repentance and confession let me explain to you my dear friends out of the seven sacraments is there any sacrament which we can receive when we are in sin loud louder which is sacrament confession isn't it yes one more sacrament baptism baptism and confession only we can receive when we are in sin other five sacraments we have to receive only when we are in the perfect grace when we are without grace and when we are receiving the other five sacraments the grace will not be coming into us these man and woman this man and woman when they came together as husband and wife though they received the blessing from the priest they did not receive the blessing from jesus why they were receiving it unworthily my dear friends very many people are coming to the church to receive the sacrament of marriage without proper confession if you are receiving the holy eucharist when you are in sin devil will enter into you john 13:27 when judas iscariot received the sacrament of eucharist from jesus in hatred and sin and evil ideas devil entered into him john 13:27 so my dear friends so many people are receiving the sacrament of marriage in the same unworthy manner then the grace and anointing of this this sacrament will not be getting into them they are totally without grace of god and they began their family life they procreated four more children and the first two children when they came to the adolescence they start living very unholy life even the small children now are very unholy because till then they had not confessed that sin and you have to know one more thing they lived a family life for 30 years you know what happened 30 long years they are living a very unholy life without confessing that particular sin not one sin so many sins 7 years of fornication and three abortions never they had confessed these sins and if you are repeating the confession by keeping this 
sins unconfessed all these confessions were fake and the reception of the holy communion was sacrilegious act sacrilegious act and i told them first you begin with a new life that is you have to make a good confession today even the hidden sins you have to confess today knowingly you hid so many sins now you confess these sins and ask the lord for a special grace and anointing that he may come again to give you the grace of the sacrament of marriage they attended the three days retreat then they i was i went to some other place for preaching the word they accompanied me there too with the two kids after the first retreat itself that the small children that is 13 and 11 they became all right they started praying with the parents after the second retreat they spent three years in prayer and slowly the two other children who went away from the lord and from the family they returned to the family and to the lord hallelujah it took three years fervent and strong prayer and faithful life in jesus led the whole family into a very supernaturally anointed family hallelujah so how did the last come first i told you the moment of conception second because when the youngsters are coming to the puberty their body is getting grown up and the changes will be there in the body and in the mindset also because of the hormone there will be uh, change in the emotions also and they will be coming to know something which which uh, will be given in a very wrong manner regarding sexuality sexual enjoyment family life some other people those who have some kind of evil experiences and evil ideas will be injecting into the minds of these youngsters all the venomous teachings they will be slowly getting into some kind of sexual act by themselves slowly they will be habituated to that act masturbation either masturbation or some other kind of uh, unholy elements of sexuality and the sec- third point somebody else will be doing something on you sexually sexual assault or sexual misuse or molest will be taking place and you will be attracted to the sexual enjoyment in this wounded mind and broken life you will be addicted to that either you will be an addict to masturbation or homosexuality and you will enjoy it emotionally and physically but soul will be dead the spirit will be totally darkened and the family will never be anointed family in such a situation so this kind of sexual bad habits are leading you to this kind of disastrous consequences and ends you have to be very clear about that and fourth point one parents sin second our own sin third somebody did something against us fourth in the permissive society where no moral precepts or divine revelations are controlling the society devilish ideologies will be taking control of the society such as society is called permissive society and they, that society will be leading to every kind of sexual immorality and licentiousness my dear friends here we can do only one thing if the last has already entered into sexuality what is the solution we read in hosea hosea um chapter 5 verse 4 hosea 5 4 their deeds do not permit them to return to their god for the spirit of adultery is within them and they do not know god the spirit of adultery the spirit of adultery is in the minds of very many people and how can we drive out this spirit of adultery from the mind because of this spirit of adultery in the mind and in the emotions and sexuality we don't feel at peace we don't feel like praying we don't feel like visiting the holy eucharist we don't feel like attending the holy mass we don't feel like praying in the family because there is some evil spirit in us through the evil sexuality the spirit of adultery is in the sexuality and 
what is the solution isaiah 10:17 isaiah 10:17 the light of israel will become a fire in his holy one a flame and it will burn and devour his thorns and prayers in one day and there are so many evil elements in us and we have to receive jesus the light of the world is jesus john 8:12 we read i am the light of the world so jesus is that light and this light should come into us and that light jesus will bring holy spirit into us titus 3:6 it is through jesus that we received holy spirit and this holy spirit the flame will be setting us into fire and every thorn and thistle will be burned and the thorn and thistle that is sexual perversions and aberrations and bad habits if we want to be healed of these sexual perversions and aberrations we need jesus we need holy spirit that will be given through sacrament of confession through sacrament of holy eucharist and word of god and devotion to mother mary and community prayer family prayer and there should be praise and thanksgiving always in the mind and in the in, in your lips it should be there in your mouth and you have to always thank god with either with a gift or thanks or hallelujah 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 then only you can control your concupiscences you are coming to the age of marriage till then until the day of marriage you have to keep your sexuality in purity without misusing it by yourself without to permit permitting others to misuse it without permitting devil to creep in and control your sexuality you shall not permit yours permit others to misuse your sexuality no the moment when the women or girls are permitting others to others to touch you with unholy emotions you will be slowly dragged into that pit of sexual sin never permit boys or men to touch your body without pure thought or emotion why should we get into this kind of trap keep a distance i know that that is practice here but when the society is so rotten and without any moral precept everybody will be getting indulged in every kind of evil act parents doing that then the children also will follow that so all the girls should know that the most beautiful gift given by god to you is your soul and that most beautiful gift the soul will be in purity and holiness and in good health only when your sexuality is pure all the boys also should know that your sexuality when it is impure your body is desecrated your soul is desecrated your relationship is broken and you are not worthy to receive jesus in that situation it is a beautiful gift of god and my dear friends the time of marriage is coming marriage blaze you reached god is inviting you my son my daughter are you ready to cooperate with me to receive my blessing then both of you asked what shall we do god said come god is inviting you from your families two families into the one church the chapel why do you come to the church where the holy eucharist is kept the chapel or church is consecrated why church is a consecrated place where the people of god are getting consecrated through the sacraments prayer and word of god church is a consecrated and set apart place which is consecrated and that church is consecrated and this is only to make the people consecrated through the sacraments prayer and word of god there you stand and you are standing in front of the altar why altar is a place where we offer sacrifice and family life is a life of sacrifice my priestly life is a life of sacrifice their religious life is a life of sacrifice no doubt which is the best one 
religious life or priest life or family life all all that means a priest can receive all this which is the best family life or priest life or uh, religious life priestly life is the best for me F family life is the best for you religious life is the best for them hallelujah what is your vocation to which state of life your vocation that's the best for you hallelujah okay you have to live a life of sacrifice family life priest life and religious life also are that is why you stand in front of the altar and the bible the word of god is there that means you have to begin a life a family life based on the word of god not word of this world you have to be controlled by the word of god you have to be anointed by the word of god you have to be guided by the word of god genesis 2:18 i will give to them i will give to him the suitable partner the suitable pair i will give to him the lord will be giving the best person for you as the partner the spouse hallelujah <laughs>